Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and I have had a ton of fun playing around with the AlphaWise U20, which is basically a CR10 clone over the past week here. Um, I threw on a 0.8 nozzle, which is my first time messing around with a bigger nozzle, and it has been a kind of learning curve, but also just a lot of fun messing around with. The only thing I wasn't crazy about with this uh, printer is the spool holder, really. It's a completely separate side unit uh, plastic piece, and I wanted to have a spool holder that was able to mount on the top, so so this is a CR10 clone, so it has the exact same extrusions as the CR10, and I just didn't find what I was looking for, so I decided, what the heck, let's make a video and make our own version. So I started off by finding a 2020 aluminum extrusion online that I imported into Fusion 360. I then created a basic sketch of a rectangle that I extruded. I added a couple of holes to it. Uh, I went with M5 holes, not for much particular reason other than the fact that I had a bunch of M5 screws and M5 T-nuts laying around. And initially, I just wanted something that was flat that I could throw the uh, spool of filament onto a one kilogram spool that could then be fed down into the extruder and uh, again I wouldn't have to have anything on the side or use the plastic extrusion that came with the 3d printer and I went ahead and printed it out uh, again using that 0.8 nozzle so <laughs> that's been a complete different beast in its own uh, but I was really happy with the overall design of this uh, as a first kind of rough draft of what I wanted to do so once I had the model I imported it into matter control I believe I did four perimeters on this uh, with a 40% infill which was incredibly strong especially when you're printing with such a large nozzle it's already got so much plastic flowing out that it adds additional strength to it um, so I probably it was probably a little bit overkill, but again, I figured I might as well go with a little bit more and, um, you know, have it strong than uh, have to print another one if, you know, if it turned out perfect, except that it was too weak. So I used a little bit of support material, uh, saved the file to an SD card. I popped it into the AlphaWise U20 uh, micro SD card slot. Went ahead and loaded up the file and we were off to printing and this was a relatively quick print especially with again the fat nozzle i think that it was no more than an hour to an hour 15 which is pretty dang quick considering how solid this is and how large of a piece this was so it printed out um i had a little bit of difficulty removing the supports just because of the fact that uh this large nozzle uh, you have to have larger clearance, otherwise it will kind of weld to the actual print, but I did end up getting it, and as you can see here, the spool sat on, and for me this was fine, however, uh, I know that for a lot of people they wouldn't want to use this design because your spool is hanging into your printer and you're losing a good chunk of build area, uh, granted again for me I don't really think I'll hardly ever be printing this tall, so it's going to be good for 95% of what I got going on, but I figured I would make a better version where I took my initial design and just kind of expanded it with a kind of curved triangle shape um, to give the spool clearance. Uh, I want to take also a quick moment just to thank my Patreon supporters. I don't really do plugs very often, but if you do enjoy my content and you want to support my channel, I do have a Patreon with some really awesome rewards, I think. So uh, if you enjoy the stuff and you want to support more, I will place a link in the description down below. It's greatly appreciated. So once again, I imported this into Matter Control. This is Matter Control 2.0, which is in beta now. It's really cool. I'll, I'll link that in the description too if you want to play around with it. Um, I've been using it at work and off work now for the last probably month and a half and now a lot of fun with it uh, so I went ahead and sliced this up for this one I ended up going with 50% infill um, only because it's got to support more weight now just because it's further off of the aluminum extrusion and I wanted to give it some uh, more rigidity the part turned out great um, again some pretty bad stringing issues which is partially due to um, I guess the alpha wise is set up I, I noticed that it did have some pretty gnarly stringing but for the most part it's due to my 0.8 nozzle um, I need to really do some retraction settings here but the overall uh, strength of the part and the layer lines turned out pretty damn good so I put this next to the initial one so now you can see here it stands tall and it will not the filament will not be blocking your 
uh, build area so I just kind of test fit the spool on top of the print and it's spinning perfectly so the next step is to pop those M5 screws through the print along with the M5 T nuts and secure this to the top of the printer. I went ahead and put it in the left corner on the very top. I also did end up printing out a filament guide which is something I've never used on my printers before but in this case I did run into an issue with the spool holder of the filament wrapping around the lead screw and causing it to uh, stop printing. So with that little filament guide um, it's perfect and the filament doesn't have any issues uh, feeding from the top directly down as you can see right there there's the filament guide uh, that's just the CR 10 one which again I can link that if that's something that you are interested in I highly recommend it if you decide to print this but uh, I've been using this this uh, filament holder now for the last couple days without issues it's really nice and again I've got a lot of height to work with but not necessarily as much width so for me it's nice having this just mounted on the top not having to have this separate side plastic unit uh, so this file is uploaded the thingiverse links will be in the description if you do decide to download it uh, let me know what you think and if you do print this um, you know post a picture of it I like seeing uh, when people make the models that I have designed so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more 3d printing videos and other awesome videos hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you in the next video Peace, guys.